Hello, so stay in at Ockney, Tarian to Bob, Bob, Wong, Pier, come out and Ockney, okay? So, everybody, let's learn how to make the rice porridge with black egg together, okay? Jim Rip Sue, so stay in at Ockney, and I like Yum Nung to Bob, such root by John, Jim Way, Wong, Pier, come out, Jar. Can you mind I throw a tame, but I proud table, come out in the chill of the moya that came your mouth, um, twirl, hope to hide a hat. I took on peer and a half, yum thing mouth, do you have a crumb on the yum thing and we are law? Because you're up by pumpier and we're supposed to be a come out and off. By any way, I'm so law, jar. But that at Braga ban, okay? So let the Ockney, I love yum and jack down, give a rope, a way of a no con only that can yum and you're the twirl for one, okay? Everybody, I'm going to, uh, Tell you what are the ingredients that you need in order to make a delicious rice soup, okay, or rice porridge. So here is what I have. The main ingredient is rice. You have to uh, soak the rice about 10 to 15 minutes in water and let it drain. And then I have um, pork belly. I have radish and dry uh, shrimp. Soak it, wash it, and clean it. That's all you're gonna need that much. I have cilantro, spring onion white and black pepper pounded white black pepper and ginger root pounded garlic okay and then i also have a cabbage that we use as a side dish uh, every uh, one using like either cabbage or bean sprout but my family we don't really like like to eat bean sprout that much so plus it's hard to find nowadays so right now i'm going to use the cabbage for my side dish so please watch and see how I put this dish together so unfortunately the company that I bought you know the brand name that I bought the preserved eggs uh, didn't you know it, it didn't come out really nice so it's okay it's edible I can still use it it's called a preserved duck eggs it make a delicious uh, rice porridge okay so there's so many brand name out there so find the best one that make a better you know um preserved egg but this one is it's not all that great but it's edible so i'm gonna start putting all the dishes together so please watch together uh, so see this one does this is not a good brand name either or maybe because i left it out i really do not know but it's supposed to be like solid black all around it and um, supposed to be like, but none of these are solid blacks. Okay, the next part is to chop the pork belly. So the pork belly is still frozen, so it's easy to uh, slice. Some people will use a uh, the um, ground pork, you can do that too, but it's not taste as good as the pork belly that you pound it yourself or chop it yourself. You go on and jump me on your two take take it, you got a back and jump on your mark right there. On the side, they didn't cut you not, you're not knowing on your two and take take it, you'll be at the back and soap. Second part, you have to um, fry the garlic, okay? This is the garlic that I am going to use for the rice soup and also fry my rice into this garlic, uh, fried garlic as well, okay? This is a lot, but I'm going to take a lot of them out, okay? Okay. First step, you want it to boil your water. While your water is boiling, you want it to add your pounded black pepper, ginger root, white pepper, and um, uh, salt, okay? So you put it in here, put a little bit of salt. So you kind of like, let that cook. Let it boil, let it simmer, let all of the uh, flavor and fragrance of that um, ingredient release in that pot and then put the cup yeah, 
Okay, so I'm adding the preserved radish and dry shrimp and I'm going to boil into my rice soup like boil it slowly just like I said we want all the flavor to release out from that salt and the shrimp you know the dry shrimp that I just put it in there so we want that flavor to all release into this pot and then we just put the cover on and wait okay so I am going to put this minced pork belly into my soup and let it cook slowly. As you can see, my water is not boiling hot. It just kind of simmer, simmer to the top, just a little bit like that, and just let it cook. Okay. sugar, one tablespoon, and you kind of like saute it, something to put it in your frying pan with the fried garlic. Okay. I put the onion, that the tray here, and put fish sauce. So this is optional. For those people who don't like fish sauce, you can use salt. One tablespoon of fish sauce. Sauce, but I do not need to because um, I already have chicken powder in here that will have a very nice flavor. Okay, okay, so everybody, I'm cutting my egg. You just kind of cut it like that. Okay, so 
if you can cut even smaller than this okay you can go into like this and then one two three like that if you want it into a little cube or you can just put it this side that I have here okay so, so it's all done so you need to put this into the soup as well so now I'm gonna try to put it into my soup okay okay everybody you just put it into the soup be careful so that the hot water doesn't splash on you. I cut it a little bit big. It's okay, I like the egg. Okay, look. Just let it simmer into this pot until all the rice and the pork and all the seasoning uh, cook together really well. So right now we're just going to let it boil. Okay. Now I'm starting to slide my cabbage. So, um... You take a big cabbage like this, or you have a slicer, you can just slice it. But I just need a little bit, not a lot. So, slice as long as you can. You can spread it out. Rico means a chew, chew real well. So, I can make that by me. So, the yaw mouth, when you throw that on thick day. Okay, that's all I need. So, um, uh, you can soak this in a very cold water, okay, to make it more crispy. So, just soak in the water like that. Let it sit for a good two, three minutes. Then it, it becomes very, very crispy and it tastes really good into, uh, with your rice soup, okay? And then your spring onion. Um, you simply just cut the top off and start slicing it like that. And this one is also, uh, you use it as a side dish. You put it a little bit into your soup uh, to, uh, before you eat it. Some people like it, some people doesn't, but I prefer to put a little bit of spring onion onto my rice soup. Okay, can you uh, and then cilantro is good to put on your soup as well because it brings out that fresh fragrance. Okay, and then also you slice a piece of um, limes you into your soup so this is what i have right now so i'm gonna show you a little bit more on what else do i need to put into uh, my rice soup you know use it as a side dish okay so this is limes uh, you're gonna slice it like that go across this way and this way see you only need a little squirt of juice into your soup side here. Now I'm going to show you how to make the xiong jia ni jia xiong dai yeng yeng mai nam jin mui a jin mui bo bo yeng nang a. This is a soy soybean. Okay, it tastes good when you add soybean to it. So I'm going to use this much. This is called preserve fermented soybean. Okay. So it's a little salty because the rice soup tend to be not 100% like salty. So we add a little soybean into it. Okay, you chop your soybean like that. Okay. And then, um, so in this little bowl, I'm going to add my chili pepper, dry chili pepper, okay? And then the garlic that I fried earlier, I'm going to add one scoop of that. 
mix some oil into it. Okay, look. You mix it together really well. Mix it well like this. Because it's supposed to be spicy, crunchy, salty in here. Add on to your soup, okay? Okay, so that's how I make my fermented uh, soy bean. Okay, so I chop it up, add chili, add fried garlic, and it's ready to go into your, you know, baba soup. Okay, so this is how I made it. So everybody, my, my soup is done, so now I'm going to tell you how I add my side dish, just like that. Add a little bit of everything, and this is the um, cabbage, okay, and then here is my special sauce put a little bit right there okay and this little lemon right here limes squeeze it mm, this is a perfect breakfast okay so this is not something that you can you know cook every day because it needs a lot of time so um, I usually cook it in the weekend time okay so you mix it up like that now, some people require the rice is to be very like thick. Uh, if you leave the pot on the stove for a long time or let it cool down, it will become very thick. I like my soup, this texture, not too thick, not too watery, okay? So if you want it like nice and thick, you just let it set for um, a long time, you know, let it warm it up and then the rice will expand and the soup become very thick, okay? So um, uh, this is how I made my uh, rice soup or rice porridge. This is I made. This is how I made it. You know, it's not the best. Everybody out there have their own way of making rice soup, but this is how I made it. So it's come out pretty good. So let me taste it. Wow, chungan mang tan mong pon doi ta nham do mien a rom chungan nhat mien a rom ta chungan hai tu. It's like it's really, uh, what do they say? It's, um, ooh, rồi bẹt bẹt nó ngọt khơi. Đội thái nhám tôm miên là rong thả, pin chất mỏng á. It's like that is the right touch and right punch. So it's so good. That's how it's, it's. I don't know how to express it, but it's so delicious. Okay. So ông quân chỉ đang để bàn mưa về để ôm nhom để ngọt khơi đi hai để để bẹt để nhom thơ là bây để nhom tập luyện thơ chả. Okay, I'll go to the next video. I'll see you later.